unfiltered podcast. Oh, what do you mean? I missed that. Hi, I'm Jake Schreiner. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob Nelson. Hi, I'm Tracy White. <laughs> I'm Pastor Donnie Leckie, and this is the Compass Conversation Podcast. Evidently raw and unfiltered. Raw <laughs> unfiltered. <laughs> Rick Flair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we will follow you. You have the name above every name. We will follow you, King Jesus. And we're back. All right, guys. Well, here we are. <laughs> we didn't really go anywhere. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I faded away for a minute. <laughs> faded back. Mm-hmm. Here I am. Jake, how are you doing tonight? I'm good. I'm good. Welcome. We're glad I'm here. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. I um, had a, uh, a good big Sunday yesterday. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounded pretty Talk good. Yeah. Enjoyed that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, just, you know, nothing really work. is new. Yeah, work is old. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to play my first round of golf on Friday, ideally. I made what? I made the uh, the tea time on Saturday because you only get seven days in the off season to be uh-huh. and, uh, and then you're just watching the weather and it just keeps getting worse for. I was gonna say oh, where no. you're gonna play here, not like out of town or something. No, 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 no. I'm gonna play here. Well, the weather on Thursday is beautiful. The weather on Saturday is beautiful. <laughs> Will it be hard to find the white golf ball in the snow? I'll play with the yellow ball. Play with those illuminated balls. Yeah, yeah, nice. So, yeah, if the weather doesn't cooperate, I'm just going to go to Top Golf after work instead. <laughs> there you That's go. awesome. Yeah, I'm good. All right, man. Glad you're here. Bob, how are you doing? I, um, I finally had a regular day. A regular day? I actually, like, had downtime today where I could sit back and, you know, get some of the dumb training that we have to do, the annual training stuff that we do every year that's the same thing. So, um, <laughs> that was it was kind of nice having a little breath instead of going... Oh my gosh, I gotta get this done. So, which is how every day last week and the most of the week before and the week before, and that was with four days off. So, oh, <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Anyways, yeah. So it was really nice the uh, being able to, to you know have a bunch of projects out of the way and done, and you know I've got one more that's coming up, but it's not that big as big of a deal. Mm-hmm. That's a deal, but not as big. So, well, a regular day is much better than an irregular mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. day, especially the older you get. <laughs> uh, uh, well, that's seriously <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> uh, you made me guess, it, Johnny. Johnny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> it's gonna be one of these, is it? All right. Here we go. Already. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. I'm Pastor John. Wait. No. Glad you're here, Bob. We're yeah. gonna jump across the table, Tracy. Me? That's you. All right. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> Busy. Uh, need the day to slow down a little bit. But yeah. Well, well before just the opposite. Yeah. yeah, just the opposite. I mean, just trying to get things taken care of. You know, the orders were canceled for my military final Ooh, military last week. One. Yeah. And, uh, but they came back and are funded, so I get to go, which means I have to really try to get a lot taken care of in the first two days of the week before uh, leaving. But, Nope, um, feeling good. We played our hearts out yesterday. Yeah, we did. So much that I broke my kick pedal. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> and, uh, hopefully uh, get that repaired today. <laughs> you left it all out on the field. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> you know, we have an Easter coming up. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, we'll talk all about that. Yeah. Well, yeah. But everything's going well, so. Glad it's you're out. here, man. Know you're tired. I have two. It's, it's like we've just been slammed. <laughs> The past week and into the weekend, and here we are again, right? We are Where we normally, we I don't know, we do the podcast though, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we just don't we don't rehearse. Yeah, After that's. Big Sunday, I got mixed up yesterday. I was thinking, oh, night off. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound kind of nice, though. Doesn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, I kind of wanted that too, but we just have tonight. We have next week, so anyway. You doing good? Uh, yeah, I am also a little weary. I walked on today and trying to get some... In the cold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> it was a little chilly. And windy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this was also our um, 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 uh, intramurals day, so I was there longer at the school mm. today. Yeah. Hate that. <clears throat> but, yes, uh, I walked on, uh, stopped by Starbucks and walked from there here. There so I got a little bit of walking in. Um, which... Yeah. <laughs> This sounds like I've just been so health conscious. 
<laughs> but uh, but no, <laughs> yesterday with Maury, not yes, was it Sunday or Saturday? Saturday, Saturday with Maury and Julie, we oh, went to yeah. Doug's Diner, and yeah, giant pancakes oh, yeah. and bacon and stuff. And then last night, uh, Leon and I, uh, end of the day Sunday, uh, we're just kind of in a fog. It's been it's been dark out. It's usually sunny mm-hmm. here in Colorado, but it's been sort of gloomy. Mm-hmm. So we got to get out of the house, and so we got out of the house and we did some walking and stuff, but. We went and got ice cream. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I needed, cold to be, day. I needed to be walking. <laughs> oh, the place that they sell a lot of ice cream when it's cold. Uh, they do it in Alaska yeah. too. It's crazy. There's never a bad day for ice cream. This is yeah, true. Yeah, it's true. It's <laughs> always room fills yeah. in all the cracks. I like how you think. No, uh, I used to eat it like it was a staple in my diet. So <laughs> I totally get that problem. <laughs> Well, all right. Well, hey, let's talk about uh, let's talk about this weekend. Now, I'll say two things right off the bat. <clears throat> Thing number one: the uh, people who made the big mess on the floor are my family. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't confess on their behalf, <laughs> but both. Well, only one was really in the wrong, and she knows her name. <laughs> <laughs> that narrows it down. <laughs> Yeah, that big cup of coffee and oh, creamer and whatever yeah, kicked yeah. over. She's but it was good. kicked over because Michael just sat down and scooted up and she yeah. had it on the floor. I don't know what she was thinking. Um, <laughs> she, she was technically doing the right thing because we don't want any liquids up on, on the on table. By the electronics. Yeah, exactly. Here's the clearer rule yeah. is that within three feet of the whole thing, <laughs> there should be no... Say 300 feet. <laughs> <laughs> just stay on, keep it. <laughs> if it but said something like that, I'm just thinking she would have. It would have been kicked over on the floor somewhere else, in another spot, <laughs> another place. I don't know. Yeah, rather but right, right in the middle. <laughs> yeah, you, so we tried fired? to clean That's it. That's what I want to know. Are we what? Fired? Have you been fired? <laughs> oh no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I always make a point, mostly because they work so hard and they're so awesome. I always make sure I'm helping and good friends with whoever is in the custodial area of anywhere I'm at. <laughs> yeah. You don't want those. You want those guys to be on your side, <laughs> and uh, I've, I've um, you know, poured into them a lot. So, and uh, no, my friend Derek, he's, he was awesome. He was like, "Oh no, that's okay. I'll, I'll get in there. Don't worry about it." You know, he's like, <laughs> he hadn't seen it yet though. But <laughs> yeah, you know, <clears throat> so, right no, not far. He's cursing your name. <laughs> it's possible. But uh, anyway, so that anyway, that was just a. Unfortunate. And then something I didn't discover till I got home, and this will be news to everyone hopefully in the room, unless you have insights. But you know, I always have my laptop in my backpack, mm-hmm. right? And I had it in a slightly different place this time. Anyway, when I got home, I opened up my laptop and it had been cracked. <gasps> like someone had either tripped over it or something rolled over it or they stepped on it, something. It, you know, it, obviously no intentional sabotage. And this lady really hated the message yesterday. <laughs> but, <laughs> I'll show him. But, uh, show him. Forget show the Grinch. The Grinch. <laughs> I must, anyway, so yeah, so my, uh, the screen on my laptop is, um, it's just cracked all through here. And then it's because it's a touch screen, there's the bleed, so all the colors going oh, up is pink. Yeah. And then parts of it are just you can't even see. Mm-hmm. So today at the school, and I'm going to replace the thing, but at the school I had to borrow a Bluetooth uh, mouse because the touchpad wasn't working either. Either that or I just couldn't yeah. find it on the screen. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I used instead of this screen, the box light. Uh-huh. <laughs> And right in front of it. Over. It, was, it was like it was like Mission Impossible. Or something. Yeah, better than my workstation with three screens. Yeah. So that was great. So I was able to do a lot of the stuff I usually do. The very short time I had at the school to do any kind of church stuff, uh, I was able to do this morning. So anyway, so I don't know what happened. I know we were moving a lot of stuff around, and, um, but yeah, I just got to remember. Take that one home. Oh, thanks. I do have one that, uh, that I'm going to be using this okay. week. But if it's not working right, I might take you up on that. <clears throat> Anyhow, all right. There's my lovely news. Wow. <laughs> so even tonight, for, for, for tonight's, you know, getting the podcast stuff ready, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be looking at a monitor instead of my <laughs> laptop screen. Oh, well. Then he'll notice all the flaws. <laughs> <laughs> the it's, flaws. Th- that's true. It is easier to work on the monitor, but if you're, it's a bigger screen, so yeah. <laughs> everything jumps at you. Yes. Oh, my goodness. 
My teeth will be bigger. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, all right. <clears throat> so speaking of computers and teeth, there is this very weird thing. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. This what? is really strange. So evidently there's like a, a collection of stock video or photos out there of women eating salads smiling. And that's like literally what it's called. Women eating smi a salad smiling or okay. laughing or something like that. And uh, so this guy that was writing about it decided to plug into an AI uh, um, illustrator, uh, oh. men crying while eating hamburgers. <laughs> some of the, they are freaky pictures. They, <laughs> they got like the extra teeth. Oh, this was AI. And none of the, the, the final <coughs> video, despite try, trying to tell this uh, AI thing several times to add tears, it wouldn't. <laughs> Closest it came was like splashes of ketchup on the back. Oh, it's, man. it's just really disturbing. Added teeth. Fingers. And yes, it does. Yeah. Oh. It's like, before Sorry. long, it won't be doing that. But right now, it is yeah. doing that. Kind of <laughs> All right, well. It's still learning. That's we a love weird. you. We love you, AI. <laughs> Don't come kill us. <laughs> Thank you, Siri. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, that's why uh, Kathy always uh, thanks Alexa for, you know, turning <laughs> on you, the Alexa. light or off the light or changing the temperature or whatever. We're still friends, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for when, remember when you take over? I was nice. Yes. Well. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. the you can't do out. that, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow. Uh, <laughs> This is, we are, what is wrong with this? Okay, let's this, talk about sorry, the weekend. The weekend. delusion. Back to the weekend. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant by earlier. This is the raw, rough and ready. It's like we would do the podcast and we were just exhausted and who knew what we might say. Yeah, but I mean, normally we kind of get this out ahead of time, but we got so much to do, we decided to go. We got to wrap this up yeah. soon. That's right. <laughs> Well, anyhow, well, let's talk about the weekend a little bit. I mean, yeah, you mentioned earlier the music stuff, yes. and um, that was really fun, I thought, and yeah. powerful there, as well. There's nice. some hilarious stuff, too, on that. But, yeah, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, we had a, yeah. a nice full room. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we good. did have a full room. That yeah. was cool. Half of Jaden's family there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we were missing a lot of people, too, so yeah. that, that was kind of fun. Yeah. We gotta keep reaching people, guys. I'll just, I let me yeah. interject that we need to keep reaching. Come people. to church. Come to church. Come on. It's really <laughs> the hilarity is when I was setting up the the hallway music. There, you guys were practicing one song, and it, oh, like, I get it, get, it, get it connected, and that was the song that was playing. <laughs> <laughs> we were doing it better, though, right? I mean, by of the way, course. yes. You were doing it <laughs> we Sorry, Toby. Back. Back. I know. I, <laughs> I say that with absolute truth on that. Um, the heart that comes back behind what we do versus the produced side mm -hmm. of things. Yeah. You know, we were talking a little we, bit about that. Yeah, about for that. sure. Yeah, um, there's a huge difference between you know something that's been produced to perfection and something that's played for the perfection. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. And there, and there was a, uh, I thought a marked difference in how we played in the service. Even from when we were doing our run through, um, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely. Yep. First song, I thought I wasn't sure if we did first song. <laughs> maybe, maybe that still needs some more work. But, uh, but it worked <laughs> for, for that song. Got the kinks out. <laughs> maybe the only time we ever do that song. But uh, <laughs> we've had it in the queue for so long uh, since 2014, I think. Right? <laughs> no, just feels. I like out. that song. Yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. it, it has a good punch to it. I mean, it's, it's like a. a it's a little jarring. It's like, uh, wait, what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Maury calls it poppy. Poppy? Very poppy. It's a pop tune. It is kind of a pop tune. It's all right. <clears throat> well, uh, and yeah, yeah, you were so into it, you busted your drums. I did. <laughs> Spring broke on my kick pedal. And yet you still carried on, and most people had no idea. Yeah. Until we referenced it. Could you tell? I haven't watched the... You know the, the service again, so I. Uh, I have not seen the whole thing either, I'm sure there's which is usually is very strange. But I haven't, I haven't seen the whole mess of the whole service yet. That we'll get to. <laughs> now I know we lost sound, unfortunately, during the parent-child dedication. Oh really? Oh, no. How did that happen? So on the stream, there is no sound. Oh no. During that time, till the very, very end. Yeah, during the. Uh, the welcoming question thing. I was distracted by a stray dog. 
So I missed that the sound wasn't going through oh. well, and it didn't get a chance to <clears throat> to tell Kyle. And when about the same time Mark did, <clears throat> yeah, past a couple of weeks there, or so yeah. Mark was like, "Am I going deaf? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening?" So that was that was a bummer. The, uh, we they missed a, a good chunk of that. So yeah, I believe there's sound on the recording. It should be yeah, it should be on the recording. That's because, mm, oh, we shall see. No, not if it were, wouldn't enable on the yeah. uh, A10. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless I, the mic picked it up, the one of the mics picked it up. That's there is a possibility. So maybe I will. Uh, I will check and see. Um, I would love to to take that clip and send it to them, mm -hmm. uh, just to have that that video. But yeah, if there's no sound. At least, uh, fortunately, she had. They had a lot of family there for parent-child dedication, so they heard it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was really great. Yeah, they had good things to say uh, about uh, the service too. Good. Mm -hmm. And the so we did pictures afterwards, and we did back up Joy's brand new phone because she lost her other one last week, oh, and then. Right. <laughs> and then uh, the SLR camera, or whatever it's called. The, uh, and I'm so glad we did two because the second shot that I did uh, for the, the Jaden and the, the family, it, it's a little blurry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <clears throat> it's a touchy focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was great. And they, they were really um, awesome about that whole thing and we're excited to be a part of it. And that's two of their kiddos now, mm -hmm. you know, that have been a part of a parent child dedication yes. type service. And, mm -hmm. And I kept it simpler this time. The last time was a little more formal, I thought. We had sort of the reading back and forth and mm -hmm. stuff. And I just wanted to add it. Let's, let's just be a little more passionate, more genuine. Let's pray yeah. and dedicate. And um, so I think if we have multiple families, that we'll, we'll just bring, we may just bring them up one at a time. Unless it's like, of course, the last time we did, we did have a lot of families yeah. up there uh -huh. at once. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I love it, man. And. Uh, yeah, that was that was a cool moment. So, cool. What else about yesterday? Well, you went long, and then you said, "Oh, I know I've gone long," but you know, Maury and I were talking about that afterwards, and it's like, "Well, that's just normal." <laughs> 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 and like Maury said, and I agree with him. Uh, he said, "John, could go on for another couple hours. I'd have been okay with nah. it." So, yeah, well, that's very nice of you, but. It would have all been hungry. Well, yeah. And asleep. Yeah, we would have had a first pizza <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Invite invite the pizza guy in for <laughs> service. You know what? That could be a tactic. Hey! <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll while you're here, just, just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah <absolutely. laughs> it's going to be a great tip. You know, here's your tip. Join you got to hang out for 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. There's actually a. Um, uh, not the same thing, but uh, a, mm -hmm. a like a sidewalk ministry that my mom was a part of in St. Louis, yeah. and the only um, thing you had to do to get a free meal was sit and have your meal while there was a message being oh. delivered. And they said it was awesome; like a lot of people would show up for it uh, day after day. And, That's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, cool. they get like their dinner that. and they get a message, and yeah, it's cool. Nice. It's a good type of good type of work. Yeah, yeah nice. I remember that little strategy. Yeah. Maybe going in the summer, maybe do some things like that. We might, we're going to be out and about a lot, hopefully, this summer. Do some cookouts, for sure. Mm -hmm. My youth group used to do a uh, like a rescue mission thing. Like once a month, we'd go <clears throat> pick one night a week, and we'd go, you know, like do all the service for the mm -hmm. dinners there, and mm -hmm. um, bring the worship team up there sometimes. And oh stuff. yeah, so, yeah. I don't but know if Denver has anything like that. I'm sure they. Oh, uh, there's all the other places. Yeah. Are they? Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> church summer, friendly. Some are good. Some are okay. Sure. I told you guys about my, my story. I used to, we used to do that in youth ministry years ago too, right? We'd, but we go to like nursing homes and stuff. Okay. Right? And uh, my funny, funniest and favorite story was we would do puppets. I don't know why they would make <laughs> puppets <laughs> at the senior adult the ministry. You know, because yeah. I guess anything That's would funny. be entertaining. I don't yes. know. So you have the stage, and then we're back there. You know, we're like holding the <laughs> puppets and. And some of those guys were really terrible at it because your arm gets tied. So after they would say their lines, ah, bah, 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 whatever, they would stop. And it just looked like their puppet had a seizure. Well, one time we were doing this puppet show, right? And we'd have music and stuff, and they'd be singing and doing stuff. We kept hearing this noise in the back. It was like, Rrr. and after a few minutes, we realized that there was a dude in the back who was booing us. 
<laughs> and as soon as we realized, and then we're like, I'm sorry, he boos every day. <laughs> and we started laughing. And so our puppets are really having seizures now. We're like, Boo. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> That's going to be me one day. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting in the back of the old folks home with her to burn. <laughs> Learn to act. Speaking of Muppets, yeah, it's like the, like the two old guys yeah. from the Muppet Show. Right? <laughs> oh, 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 you know. Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, yeah, see, this aspirations is for the uh, upcoming nursing home trips, right? Aye, aye, aye. I mean, mm -hmm. when we're in them. Yeah. <laughs> Things to do in the nursing home. Oh, Ooh, well, the visitors. <laughs> well, I, I will say one of the best things that we can do is just keep keep making what we're doing on Sunday as real as we can. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep trying to preach the Bible as solidly as I can, and and we just invite everybody we see because <laughs> I, like I think it will it resonates. Um, I invited Robert Gage. <laughs> hey, good, good. And uh, you know it's great, you know Luis there. Uh, yes. He's got both his kids there, and he invites all the time. Yeah. It's it's, it's interesting. Yeah. That's it's, awesome. He'll come and say, "I invited that guy to church." I went, yes. "Good man, <laughs> awesome." But it takes like twenty invites before somebody really catches. That's the frustrating thing most people don't understand. Right. Is and now we could you know. Anyway, we want to reach people who are not in church first of all. Uh, people who are lost, we definitely yes. want. And, um, you know, that takes a lot of inviting. So, <laughs> inviting and serving, and it takes time to do that right. Um, I, I'm always reminded of um, the church you and I talked about here recently. Um, and I want to be careful here because I love this guy and I love what they did. Started a little bit before we did here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Baptized tons of people, reached tons of unchurched people. Mm -hmm. And they went for several years, I think about eight years, maybe more, maybe they're reaching their 10th year, I'm not sure, nine or 10 years. In that time, they became a congregation of about six or 700 people. Wow. Yeah. And you'd think, oh, that's unstoppable, right? <clears throat> Until? Now they are no more. Oh, no. Um, yeah. And so they had all the stuff, you know, they had all the stuff that you would think are the bells and whistles of church. They yeah. an amazing band. Uh, he was a great speaker. People were getting saved. But somewhere in there, there was no scandal that, mm -hmm. uh, that I'm aware of. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they, uh, they had trouble financially mm -hmm. uh, supporting where they were. And I think that their loan or whatever just was getting too big and mm -hmm. not enough people were giving to support that. <clears throat> And um, anyway, it, it dissolved. Now, I don't know where all those people went. <laughs> to me, that's like the ultimate fail in a, in a church scenario. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just we gotta, we got to make sure we're focusing on the meat and potatoes of what church is. It's boiling it down to what is it, man. It's mm. encouraging each other. It's, it's the more stronger, closer I talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, anyway, I don't know why I got off on all that. But uh, I just, that just reminded me of that, yeah, we, we want to get out connect with who we need to be connecting with. Uh, and, uh, and and being genuine, man, we can't just say one thing at church or have, I could get up and do a, a super deep message that nobody understands. Or, <laughs> or, or I could blast all the sinners uh, across the United States and, uh, and do all that kind of stuff and, and we could feel real good about ourselves and never reach anybody and Jesus wouldn't feel good about us. <laughs> That's not why I moved to Colorado. That's a good problem. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> he, he would not be pleased uh, because that's that's not his heart either. And if we're following Jesus, we want to have his heart. So Agreed. All right, now you guys talk. So uh, this actually, it's another AI thing, <clears throat> but it's a funny one. And it fits in with what you're talking about. So, <laughs> you know, and inviting people. So I've got some neighbors across the hall and an older couple. She's get retiring this year. He's been retired for a couple of years. And uh, the uh, and Al and Estella, I know him well. The uh, I'm going over there and helping him out a lot. You know, he's uh, uh, just a, he's actually about he's within a couple of years of the age of my dad. You know, so mm -hmm. in, uh, near eighty, uh, maybe just over eighty. And uh, anyway, um, he was telling me that on Saturday afternoon when I ran into him, he, uh, the, the, his wife and I, him were talking over breakfast about, it, and she goes. 
artificial intelligence. You should really like learn how to do this stuff. And he goes, I don't need artificial intelligence. I got Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, well, that's great. Wait, Wait a minute. A minute. <laughs> but it's having that impact on somebody yes. that it, it, that's the thing that gets them to where they need to go. Because he'll he'll always joke with me. He's not not a Christian. He like, has a Catholic background, but he's like uh, the he'll see me on Sunday and go, so Bob, what did you what do you have? What word do you have from the Holy Land? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, I'm a quick, very quick. Uh, love God, thing. love people. There you go. Hello. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, but yeah, they've got that kind of relationship with them to be able to, you know, be just honest about what we do and everything. So, mm -hmm. and that's exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, and blasting as many stereotypes as we can. A lot of people mm -hmm. know nothing about Christians except for the mean things they've seen mm -hmm. sure. somewhere, a news, or even if they're not true, <laughs> or how they're portrayed in media and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just completely removing those kinds of things at least opens them up to be able to hear the truth, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, also readily admitting how flawed we are, mm -hmm. you know? Then that's where a lot of Christians, I think, really mess that up. Now, we don't want to celebrate, you know, like, yeah, we're all sinners, yeah! <laughs> we're all sinners, <laughs> come join the party. But, uh, but at least to, to say, you know, this isn't about becoming somebody who's perfect, um, you know, it's about experiencing God's grace and then growing in holiness and growing to be, you know, we're falling forward. <laughs> we keep going. We're falling again. We keep going. Um, but yeah, just that, that has the impact. And praying for people, praying for our church. You know, what Jesus said, pray uh, that there would be harvest, uh, that the Lord of the harvest would send in workers for his harvest field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, and notice it's not sitters, <laughs> people who are workers who are sitting and, and waiting to, to be stuffed with the, with the Bible or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> that, that, that expression is, is a, a random but funny one to me <laughs> of, uh, of being fed. You know, that's that is nothing. Can we talk about this thing recently? I don't want to go too far into it, but yeah, the whole idea of um, I'm looking for somewhere where I can be fed, mm -hmm. dude. Do you need a bib? <laughs> where are you going to be fed? I mean, as you are matured and growing, you, you learn how to, you know, you don't, you don't have to be ah, ah, yeah. feeding yeah. you. Yeah, you learn how to feed yourself because you're growing. Now, if you're talking about uh, a pastor who's, who's just never fully preaching mm -hmm. the word in any way, or they're shallow and whatever, I, that's a different thing. But, but some people, I think, have been fed so much and have not exercised. <laughs> Ready and raw podcast. Right? Yeah, that's where the ice cream comes from. You know what I'm talking awesome. about? <laughs> <laughs> They've just been sitting, and that's what I, that's what I call the sitting and soaking. And I say this all the time. This is not you. Know, it's like the, the first time you've heard me say these kinds of things. But yeah, a lot of people have not spiritually grown past the last thing God told them to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're and maybe they're sitting and waiting for like I need more truth and, and I need something stronger, mm -hmm. deeper, but you're not hearing it really because you're not doing the last thing. <laughs> anyway, maybe that's too harsh, I don't know. But uh, but I've just seen it so often. I've been in church life so long. I just <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to tie all that into the, the message which was about I got a segue for you. Hey, hey, oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 So, you know, so one of the one so of the, the uh, <laughs> well, one of the large groups of people that we definitely should be trying to reach is kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And and that I think is lost to an extent, especially nowadays, because like with Harper, I realize she's not gonna sit there and study the message the way yeah. that we're all you know, we're following the scripture and all that yes, stuff. It's yes. not gonna happen. But you know, the uh, just the whole osmosis effect. She's there, she's picking up some stuff every Sunday and then having her in that environment and, and um, being young and knowing that experience, because that's what it was like for me, like getting older, when you really decide, okay, I do want to start diving into this more and exploring this and, and understanding more truth, yeah. it, you know, it makes it way easier because it's the norm, you mm -hmm. know, it's, it's, she's yes. used to that, she's used to the environment, she doesn't have to overcome the whole obstacle of, I've never even been to church before, where yeah, do I yeah, even right. start, yeah. you know, yes. well, you know, she grew up in a church, she's going to know, yes. yeah. Um, yeah, and I mean, a church without kids is going to fail. Yeah, so yes, sir. <laughs> You're so right, Chick. Yeah. I have been really, and certainly even after yesterday's message, man, this is, has been weighing on me a lot. 
that we must do things to reach children. Mm -hmm. And that's that takes an unselfish church. It takes an unselfish church to reach unchurched people and to reach children. And so, yeah. <laughs> Especially when it wasn't the kids making the mess in the hall. <laughs> yes, yes, that's right. It's the adults. Uh -huh. <laughs> to, to one of your the, the, the illustration. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was funny when he was, he was jokingly saying, you know, someone comes up and goes, we got to do something about these kids. Surprises, we got to do something about these adults. Yeah. <laughs> Make it so oh boy! So, uh, Just real quick, that stuff you guys sprayed on it after we were cleaning up smelled worse than. Yes, it did. Well, there is there's, there's probably there. a reason for that, but uh, we'll let it ride. For now. <laughs> saw that part of the instruction. Saw that part. Of the <laughs> All right, well, I was trying to give you a pass, man. <laughs> Yeah, it, it needed to be um, kind of diluted. It was, uh, not, it was not done sprayed on, then diluted. Uh, and, and okay. It raises the stain up a little bit, sprinkle more water. I mean, mm -hmm. this was a whole just... step to it. <laughs> spot remover? Come on! <laughs> Fine print. You know, <laughs> you know, I did spill spot remover on my dog once, and uh, now I can't find it. Can't find spot! <laughs> oh, why? Okay. Well, we did we did work on that spot. I was all saying we did work on it, and the good news is at least it smells better. <laughs> <laughs> the spot's still there, but not stinking anymore. It smells better. So what we're gonna have to do is that would slowly been work on the rest of the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Just going week by just, week. Just coffee all the way across. <laughs> no, this carpet is brown. It's, it's brown. Right? Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> we it's cleaned it. Enough. It's not faded anymore. Oh my soul. All right, friends, we are out of time. I'm not sure we, we fully did. And we didn't even talk hardly about the message, but it was cool that it did dovetail with. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Did I, did I just go, oh, that's a good time to do this? Well, you said it, it just sort of happened. It, it, that, that's what was yeah, happening. a couple of weeks ago, you even mentioned well. to me that the uh, this is going to happen. How cool is that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let the little children come to me, and we're doing uh, parent-child dedication. All that, yeah. I loved it. So anyway, like nine kids here yesterday. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, Harper liked that. She had a good time. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, she was, awesome. yeah, she was having fun, and they were. Um, I think Kathy said that the girls that were in there were all like, this is so fun, we're having so much uh -huh. fun together. I mean, it was apparently a really good vibe in the room. Yeah. So yeah, kudos to Joy and Kathy yeah, they did for being back there on Sunday. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm thinking that we're gonna have to, um, looking at our basic crew of people, rustle up some guys who just commit to say, yep, I'm gonna help even with kiddos, even on that day. Maybe I need to go in there one day and, and, and Tracy tre preaches. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> I can see that. Okay, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's going to take some novel stuff to, to, to do what we need to do. But anyway, you guys are quiet and nervous all of a sudden. Wait, uh, I don't know. No, I tried that once, Johnny. I really did. I was probably, I don't know, 13, 14, 15, somewhere in there. And uh, yeah, I was not very good at that. <laughs> Wait, do, dealing with kids or preaching? No, the preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say. Yes. So we're where we have two our kids. Uh, preaching two kids. That's what we're doing. We have our family reunion. Our family would mm. basically take over the church there. And it's a little bitty church, and uh, and and serve the, the church there. Yeah. And, and the, it was a way older community in that in that area. So it was uh, they they enjoyed the. You know the help and, and all that, but yeah, no, I, I didn't know how to talk to people. <laughs> the good news is You're I am only old person. fourteen. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, fourteen. And Maury, whenever he tells that story, he always talks very fondly about you getting up and preaching that day. Wait, did, does he talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been a while, but oh no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're we're got to be we've got to be out of time, guys. We got to sure. pray. We got to finish setting up. <laughs> But I've enjoyed you guys bringing me up here a little bit tonight after a long, crazy day. I know it's still going, but um, hopefully we can make this a, a quick rehearsal tonight. Love playing. I'll never say no to playing. Love it. Break some more instruments. <laughs> like the hoop. Uh, rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, anything else about Sunday? <clears throat> anything else that stood out? Anything you guys want to comment for anybody who may not have been there? All right. It was just a really good time. Yeah, I enjoyed yesterday. Yeah. 
in so many ways. So many positives. Enjoyed the fellowship. Enjoyed um, God being in our presence. Enjoy how much He loves us. That reminds us of a verse. Like, is that where you're going with that? John 3, 16. Is, <laughs> For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but have eternal life. Thank you, Tracy. Be gotten. Thanks for <laughs> for remembering that. I don't know, uh, be gotten. I, I, you know how I do it. So. One and only. <laughs> and you, you went who? So he, he went one, one and only. What did you do? Only. <laughs> Hello. Well, all right, guys. Well, I think uh, if you guys don't have anything else to say before final words, I will say we do meet somewhere in the world every week, always online. If you go to Facebook, you can find us by searching. Compass Church, Colorado. You can discover more at compassdenver.com and we would love to have you as our guest this Sunday. All right, friends, final words. Love you guys. Love everyone out there. Likewise. This has been great. Grace to you and peace. That's all we have for tonight and we are out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. Pew, pew, pew. pew. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Pew, pew, pew. 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 P